Building a Paralympic team can take years, but Liesl Tesh and Dan Fitzgibbon are enjoying rapid success. The pair is eyeing a London berth despite only sailing together for 15 months. I saw Liesl on a television show on, on a Sailors with Disabilities documentary. I was just watching it. I was with a friend at the time and he said, well, mate, you should get her, you should get her. And, and I kind of just saw how she was and how strong she was. And um, yeah, she went sailing and we haven't looked back. When Fitzy rang me, he just talked from the heart and I just talked back to him from the heart. We're both athletes. We're both really determined, really competitive. There's no crap, straight to the point, like spades a spade out there and it's working. Fitzgibbon won silver at the Beijing Paralympics in 2008, while Tesh has represented Australia in wheelchair basketball five times. Tesh sailed as a young girl and took up wheelchair basketball after she crushed her spine in a bike accident. She's now back to where her sports career started. When there's a basketball court, there's a ring at each end and it doesn't change. On the bar, we go out the second day sailing, the wind's coming from the other direction, the racetrack's up the other way, they blow a whistle, they extend the racetrack, they shorten the racetrack, the wind comes from the other direction. There's so many variables. These scud boats are standard racing yachts with a high-tech twist for athletes with disabilities. The seats can cant side, by, side to side 25 degrees and, and I, I cant it by a sip and puff system so I suck on a tube and it cants one way, I blow and it cants the other way and because my hands are strapped to a steering system so I don't ever lose grip on it and, and lose control of the boat. I can't see directly behind the boat so we've installed the reversing camera so I have a screen in front of my seat where I can see the boats behind me, what they're doing and their angle and, and whether they're trying to go around us over the top or underneath. The pair races against Amy Barnbrook, a 24-year-old skipper who's had boats designed for her since she was seven years old. Amy was born without arms and only has part of one leg. She steers her boat with an electronic control using three toes. Her goal is to compete at the Paralympics in 2016. Getting out of the chair is fantastic. Just being able to move in a different way besides being on wheels and feeling every single bump going over the ground. It is a good way of being out there. Um, and also you can compete against people that are able bodies as well. They don't necessarily have to have disabilities to be able to compete against them. These SCUD racing yachts are 20 feet long and generally the person with more sailing experience sits at the back and is in charge of steering. The person at the front is in charge of trimming the sail. Now Liesl and Dan have only been sailing together since January last year but already they're proving to be a lethal combination. Fitzgibbon has a wealth of experience on the water. He was an Olympic sailing hopeful until he fell off a jetty and broke his neck 15 years ago. You never really have a perfect race, I don't think, and, and you're always trying to master the elements, and every day is different, and I enjoy just the challenge, the absolute challenge, and I've still been doing this, I've been doing this for so long, and I still make silly errors, and, and um, that's what keeps me coming back tomorrow and, and the next day. Sometimes I think I'm having a bad day, or work's tough, and then you just, uh, you look over your shoulder and you think, wow, you know, I'm not having a real tough day, like Dan and Lisa are uh, showing me that uh, life's pretty, uh, pretty easy, you know. Fitzgibbon and Tesh will race in France next week, part of a busy lead-up to the London Games. Amy Bainbridge, Late Line.